Good evening everyone. This is Vrishali. In previous sessions we discussed about all SDLC models in detail with examples. I have mentioned complete software engineering subject playlist link in below description box. Now in today's session we will take a quick revision on all SDLC models. Let's start the session. In this channel you got a complete point wise easy explanation, practical demo and question bank of following subjects. Please like and share these videos with your friends and subscribe the channel. So you will get the notification regarding my new upcoming videos. Now in software engineering in SDLC the first traditional and basic model is waterfall model. The concept of waterfall model is to collect requirement from the customer as per the requirement design the product then develop the product by using particular programming language to test the complete product and after that deploy it to the customer. If customer has any maintenance issue to solve it. In waterfall model there is a fixed requirement from the customer that's why it is used in small project and the cost is low and there is a good documentation. But waterfall model work only in forward direction that's why it is a high risk project. If customer want any changes so this kind of facility is not there. There is a low customer involvement customer feedback has not taken and if there are any errors so it is very difficult to recognize. Next. Next one is a iterative model. The concept of iterative model is in first iteration they collect requirement from the customer analyze those requirement. After that they design code and test a complete product. After that they take a feedback from the customer. If customer want any changes they move to next iteration. Again they design code test a complete product. If again customer want any changes they review from customer again it goes to next iteration. Again they design code test a complete product and again take a feedback from the customer. If customer is satisfied then they deploy a product to the customer environment and solve maintenance issue. So the features are there is a continuously changing requirements and customer feedbacks are taken after every iteration. This is a good sign. That's why it is used in large project. But the disadvantages are due to lots of iteration more resources are required and deadline is not confirmed. Right. And that's why it is a over budget project. Next. The next model is incremental process model. The concept of incremental process model is first they collect requirement from the customer and freeze it. After that they divide those requirement into the multiple models. Suppose there are total eight requirements. So first they divide three requirements. They design develop test this particular module and deploy to the customer. After that they design second module next requirements. They design develop test this module and deploy it to the customer and again they develop remaining requirements then they design develop test to the deploy to the customer. So basic concept is they collect the requirement and divide those requirement into the multiple models. So the features are there is a fixed requirement but due to the model by model development it is used in large project and er errors are very easy to recognize. But this is a quick release of the product means First they develop first model and deploy to the customer. Customer want high priority requirement first right. But the disadvantages are it required more resources and due to the model by model development there is a good team and proper planning required. Next. The next model is evolutionary process model. The concept of evolutionary process model is as per the software development life cycle first they collect requirement from the customer and analyze those requirement. Then they design the particular product as per the requirement. Now as per the priority of the customer they develop a first module that is first version then deliver to the customer. If customer want any changes they solve those issue and again deploy it to the customer. After that they develop a second module then deliver to the second module to the customer. If customer want any changes it solve those changes and again deliver the final version. So basically in evaluationary process model there is a continuously changing requirements. In previous incremental model there is a fixed requirements. This is a difference between evaluationary and increment model. 
it is used in large projects there is a quick release quick release means module by module development and customer feedback taken after each and every module this thing is not present in previous incremental model here errors are very easy to recognize and cost reduction is there disadvantages are deadline is not confirm due to the module by module development and after every module it take a customer feedback clear next this evolutionary module has total three types the first type is prototyping model the concept of prototyping model is first they collect requirement from the customer and customer requirements are not clear customers are very confused about their requirements that at this particular phase here developer take a quick decision so designer and developer build a first prototype prototype is not a actual model prototype is just a rough design rough structure or just replica of your actual model so due to the customer having not clear requirements so here designer and developer build a prototype they take a customer feedback if customer want any suggestion they again build rebuild a prototype again they take a customer feedback again if customer want any changes they do this changes into the prototype okay and after that this particular prototype accepted by the customer and at the end they start a actual development they design implement test the actual product as per the prototype and at the end deploy it to the customer and solve maintenance issue the features are it use a prototyping method that's why there is a continuous changing requirements and customer feedback as taken this is a good sign errors are very easy to recognize due to prototyping method and it is a very low risk project because whatever the errors are there it solve in prototyping not in actual model it is used in very large project disadvantages are it is very costly with respect to time and money because it use prototyping tools that's why and there is a very poor documentation because it directly focused on the development purpose next the next module is spiral model the concept of spiral model is see here it start with the this spiral or iteration phase it start with the first planning they collect requirement from the customer and analyze requirement it the second one there is a prototyping and risk analysis so the main identification of spiral model is after collecting requirements they identify whether the particular risk in project risk means particular technical risk software related risk hardware related risk so they analyze those risk and solve it and develop a prototype after developing prototype there is a actual development that is design development and testing next they take a customer feedback if customer want any changes then they move to next spiral iteration again do risk analysis design development testing and again take a customer feedback in this way these iterations have increases due to the lots of iterations it is a very high budget project and customer requirements are not unclear and complex here but the features are it is very used in large and critical project risk identification and analysis is there the use prototyping method and continuous changing requirements because of customer feedback has taken and due to the module by module development errors are very easy to recognize next the next one is a concurrent model so concurrent model basically show the states of each and every activities first inactive state means there is no any uh, activity have started under development means first collect the requirement then design the product then develop the product so this all phases goes to under the development if customer want any changes this is a awaiting changes state and do all the necessary changes as per the customer requirement in under revision state if there are not any customer changes there so this under development state goes to directly under the review state means testing phase and in baseline check that product is as per the srs documents or not and is as per the srs document it done the project after completing project after deploying project in done state if customer want any changes it again goes to awaiting changes state so basically this concurrent model used in all software development life cycle model it just show the states of each and every activity it is very easy to use and provide accurate state of current activity but the disadvantages are 
there is a must have better communication in tip right next the last one is a agile model in today's digital era each and every applications agile model have used the concept of agile model is first they collect requirement from the customer they design module by module project if customer want highest priority requirement they design develop test deploy it to the customer and they take a customer feedback if customer want any changes they move to next iteration and develop the next requirement and solve previous changes these two things okay again they design develop test deploy and review the particular product from the customer if customer want any changes then they solve the previous changes plus develop next three requirements in this way so it is used in large project continuous customer involvement is there this is a good sign and due to the changing requirements for agile model high qualified and experienced team required errors are very easy to recognize due to module by module development and flexible timeline and budget but the disadvantages are there is very poor documentation because it directly focus on design and development and due to the poor documentation maintenance is difficult now these are the some important questions on stlc models this question asked in previous year question paper like explain different activities in software process framework you have to explain all the activities like requirement gathering design develop testing deploy and maintenance with a diagram then explain why waterfall model of software engineering is not an accurate reflection of software development activities here you have to explain all the disadvantages of waterfall model now explain general process model of the requirement elicitation and analysis process then explain need diagram incremental model their advantage disadvantages here you have to explain how agile methodology help project managers here you have to explain all the agile model advantages with their principles then explain agile principles here and what are the conditions where evolutionary process model have preferred so here you have to explain why spiral model prototyping model and concurrent model are necessary this all things so generally this all questions have asked for 7 to 8 marks now these are the some additional questions like explain with need diagram iterative model with advantages and disadvantages explain different states of concurrent model and explain working of spiral model with advantages and disadvantages for 7 to 8 marks so you have to prepare all this question for your exam point of view thank you keep learning